laser engraving thin materials like these cork coaster backers here and I have a lot to do. I have 81 for one order and 120 for another order. So there's a few tricks to these, especially when they blow off the board. And yeah, you could put a piece of tape on the back and that works, but when you have a lot of them to do, I've got a little shortcut here I'll show you coming up. Okay, this is a little laser tip here. So I'm Roger, walking with the shop. And as I mentioned at the very beginning there, I'm engraving a lot. I mean, I'm pushing over 200 of these by the time I get done of these cork coaster backers. You put them on the back of either slate or ceramic coasters or wood or whatever. It's cork. It has an adhesive back. But you have a couple problems. One is they're extremely light. So even without air assist, just the air from that nozzle will blow these away and it will ruin your project. So one thing you could do is put some double sided tape on the back or something like that because I'm engraving pretty much right out to the edges of these. And when the laser gets out by the edge it blows the, the coaster over. So I have a template here that I've made to do my four inch square projects and I've used this quite a bit. I put it on top of my spoil board and I'll show you that in detail here in a minute. But getting these to stay down, and as I said, they're not perfectly flat as they come from the factory. As much as I try to keep them flat, they're not perfectly flat. They have a little bit of a curl to them, and it's hard to get them to lay down. So, here's the solution. Spray adhesive. I'm using 3M Super 77 because we use it for a lot of things around the shop here. What you don't want to do, though, is put it on both pieces. This does have a uh, back on it. It's kind of a waxed paper type thing. And the glue does not really stick to this but it does stick to it enough to hold it down. I spray my bed with this and I let it flash off for a few minutes. Then I can set my coaster backers in there in order where I need them and I can run the engrave. Uh, this last, uh, uh, one spray of this will last, last through, that's hard to say, several batches. And when I need to reapply it, I can reapply it. So what I have here, this is my uh, spoil board underneath here and it has a layout grid on it. This is the Ortura Laser Master 3 I'm doing this project on here today. And this is nothing but a piece of uh, eighth inch thick hardboard and I laser engraved my uh, layout template. I can do nine of these at a time on here. And then when I first started out and had that problem with the blowing off I thought well if I put all nine of them in here and put some little edge pieces in here it'll keep them from blowing away back and forth. Well it did but it didn't keep it from blowing up on top of each other. So hence the uh, spray adhesive I just put another coat on there. I'll let that flash off. Then I'll set my uh, backing pieces in. Here again they're very thin and when after I take them off as you can see there's no adhesive that stuck to the back of this but when I take these and send them to the customer they're packed face to face so that there, if any residue was still on there, it would not actually be on the finished surface. So I'll let this flash off and I'll set another batch up on here and we'll get them running. These coaster backs are supposed to be four inches square, but that's kind of a nominal number because my squares are exactly four inches. But as you can see, these are not exactly four inches. But it works out fine for the design I'm doing here. The problem I was having was as the laser would get to the edge of the coaster, it would lift up the one next to it, or actually lift up the one it was engraving on, and blow it off to the side. And this is stopping that from happening. There's just a little laser quick tip on what to do when you have to do a lot of something. It's a thin material and you, you have a hard time holding it in place. Normally when I do uh, four inch, actually four inch cork coasters on this, they're thick enough I do not have that problem with them moving around. And with this uh, adhesive on here now, well, whether or not I'll still be able to use this with my regular cork coasters, because I know I won't get that residue off, I can always make another one. Eighth inch hardboard is cheap, and these are quick and easy to make. Again, if you're running a lot of something, you need a template, and I did do a, a video a while ago on how to create a laser template for doing multiple projects. You can check that out, there'll be a link at the end of the video. You could make these temporary ones and 
put them on top of your original spoil board, whether you just set them there. In my case, I have this actually screwed down because I have so many of these to do today and I don't want any chance of that board moving. And again, I'm working with the Ortur Laser Master 3. I'm working on absolute coordinates starting from center. That's kind of how I roll. Um, do what you like, that's just my preference. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.